Hey, what's up, everybody? It's your host, Sin, and I am the host of We So Fly Radio, which is soon to be We So Fly Magazine Live. This is test show number two. Um, the reason why we're doing test show is because we're trying to get the system and the equipment to work perfectly so you guys don't have any problems. Um, we have a lot of good topics to talk about today. We have the Meek Mill update. We have the Wendy's Williams, Rollo versus Moneybag Yo, Donald Trump versus LeVar Ball. We're going to answer questions in Super Chat, and we're going to all uh, you guys via Super Chat to give shout outs to your friends, family, loved ones, you know, pretty much however you want to do it. So let's get right into it. So our first topic is your boy Meek Mill. Well, our update with Meek Mill is this. Meek Mill has been transferred to another prison facility where he now is in general population. He can go outside, play basketball. He can hit the gym. Um, He has a choice of jobs. He can either be a cook or he can clean out cells. But as you can see from the picture on the screen, that Meek Mill November 27th hearing has been canceled. Somehow, some kind of way, Pennsylvania court claimed they made an error in giving him another hearing on November 27th. So, you know, unfortunately I have to report that Meek Mill will not be getting out anytime soon. He doesn't have a hearing for a sentence. A new judge, as of now, is not reviewing his case. But if anything comes up, I'll be sure to inform you guys. But what I was shocked to see and know is that Drake during one of his concerts, said free Meek. You know, everybody's on social media has been going crazy behind Drake doing this. It was unexpected. But, you know, when a man has been treated unfairly, I mean, what else can you really say? So I'm going to sit back and allow you guys to watch the video. I see the God, Venus, strike. You got the, you got the free meat meal sweet shirt. Free meat meal too, man, for real. You right. I see you in the control. Wendy in a major way as you can see 
you know, Wendy's always in everybody's business. She's always talking trash about relationships and other people. But when it came to her own, she pretty much just, you know, slid it off her shoulders and said, hey, I'm his wife. I stand by my man and that's that. And it's all good, though, because, you know, we know he's cheating on you. <laughs> okay, everybody. So now we're going to go on to our next topic. Um, if you'd like to chat with me, if you'd like to discuss something, feel free to click on Super Chat. Ask whatever you want. If you want to be on air, click on Super Chat. Let me know. I'll give you the call-in number. Again, this is test show number two, you guys. It's just a test show. So I hope you guys are enjoying it. Well, let's go ahead and get off into the next situation. The next uh, the next topic is Rallo Famgoon. Uh, southern rapper versus Money Bag Yo, who's also a Southern rapper, I believe. Well, for some reason, these two guys were booked at an event. I believe Rollo was booked on a walkthrough, and Money Back was supposed to perform. And at some point in time, Rollo was allegedly told by the promoter that Money Bag Yo offered him $7,500 not to let Rollo in the club. And Rollo's like, I have no beef with this dude. We have no issue. Why would you offer the promoter 7500 to keep him out the club? So today on Instagram, it and Money Bags replied. So I'm going to let you guys sit back, watch the screenshots of their conversation back and forward, and I'll be right back with you with more commentary. All right, everybody, from what you see, it has gotten real intense between Rollo and Moneybag Joe. But if you know anything about Rollo, Rollo just didn't stop there. Oh, no, believe me, that was just too easy. Rollo actually did a video where he speaks on the actual incident. They tell us the club closed at 2 o'clock after we was notified that the club closed at 3 o'clock. So I say, cool. They just walked through there. Them people came in there to see me. Them people were talking shit to me on Twitter. I got to go in here and take these pictures and see these people. I was in the show. You know, bitches hugging me. You know, we having fun. We having a good time. I don't want no money back. You ever do his part? I go talk to the promoter. The promoter tell me, nah, right now you crank this bitch up some more. You doing good. You need to go back up there and do your show. I say, money back your turn. He tell me, money back your try to pay him $7,500 not to let me in the club. I say, what kind of shit that is? That shit ain't cool, dog. I ain't had no smoke with him at all. I thought it was cool. See, that was Rollo giving his intake on what happened. Okay, so now. Our next topic of today is Donald Trump versus LeVar Ball. Well, for those that don't know, uh, Donald Trump called in and spoke with the president of China and pretty much asked him to free the UCLA players who were caught stealing. One, which is 
Lee Angelo Ball, LeVar Ball's son, Zoe Alonzo from the Lakers, uh, number two draft pick brother, which was kind of crazy because from what I've been told, Lee Angelo drives a $400,000 Ferrari. His dad has the big baller brand. Zoe signed a $6 million rookie contract. So why him and the other two UCLA players were still in, I have no idea. It was very stupid. And in China, you know, you get years for stealing. But for some reason, these guys allegedly, from what I've been told, stole from two or three major stores. And China was looking to stick it to them. And, you know, of course, for something in return, Donald Trump made a phone call and got those guys, you know, out of that situation. The sad part is this, though. Donald Trump didn't do it obviously, from the kindness of his heart, because he's upset that LeVar Ball would not thank him or downplay the situation or wouldn't uh, uh, support him, which, I mean, who would, right? You know what I'm saying? If you do something for somebody, you're supposed to do it out of the kindness of their heart, your heart. You're not supposed to do it for something in return, but, you know, if Trump didn't do it for something in return, that would be too much right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So Trump is upset, and he tweeted he tweeted that um, there were three basketball players basically in China who got caught stealing. They could have went to prison. I made that phone call, got him out of that situation, and his dad is being a butthole towards me and, you know, won't support me or give me the proper props. You know, that's Donald Trump, King Twitter Fingers. Um, but the homeboy Michael Rappaport, which, you know, I, I have a lot of respect for this guy. Um, he doesn't hesitate to bite his tongue, not only against Donald Trump, but any type of black injustice that he sees and knows about, you know, and, and I respect that. Also, I want to give a shout out to, uh, dang, I had his name in my head right now. Um, what's his name? Um. Gary, Gary, um, Gary Owens, I believe. I believe it's Gary Owens or Gary Owens. You know the the white comedian. Sorry, you guys. It, it was it was right in my head, but um, I definitely want to give him props too because not because he has a, a black wife, which is also lovely, but you know he actually stands up for the black community also. You know. They they fuck with us, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Gary Owen. So this is what my boy Michael Rappaport had to say about Donald Trump being upset at LeVar Ball and LiAngelo Ball for not giving him what he considers to be his proper respect. Don't be Donald Trump. You fuck. You couldn't just leave well enough alone, right? You, you, you did something, so you say, for three American kids that made a stupid mistake, just like you made stupid fucking mistakes in your past. Your ugly, arrogant ass. You asked these three kids for a thank you while they were still on the fucking plane coming back from China. You were just waiting for your thank you. And now because LeVar Ball will kiss your ass and shine your fucking shoes and I'm glad LeVar Ball won't do it. Good fucking job, LeVar. Fuck Donald Trump. I'm actually thinking about getting a pair of those big ball of brand sneakers, although they're still ugly as fuck. That's not the point. The point is that Donald Trump came out this morning and said, I should have left those basketball players in jail, just like you said about the Central Park Five. But what did you really want to call him, Donald? Mm, three what? The, mm, say it? Come on, say it. Three b -b black basketball players. Just say it, Donald. Um, my boy, Rap Michael Rappaport, giving it up to us once again, chewing out Trump. Um, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, a lot of people are tired of Trump and, you know, recently it said that they started the impeachment of Trump. They found him to be um, allegedly guilty of breaking five to six articles. So they're filed for impeachment. Hopefully everything goes through and we can get him out of the office. Um, and on that note, because we're having so much te technical difficulty, we want to go ahead and stop the show. We maybe redo the show later on tonight around 9 o'clock Pacific just to test out the system again. 
I appreciate you guys tuning in. And um, again, We So Fly Radio will soon be We So Fly Magazine Live. So you guys be sure to subscribe, share, and like. Uh, turn on that notification. Follow us on all social media platforms at We So Fly Magazine, at We So Fly Network. We're going to be bringing you guys at least another five to ten different shows other than the We So Fly Magazine Live. Um, some of the shows are going to be comedic, funny. Some are going to be serious. Some are going to be about sports. Some is going to be about music. We're going to be bringing you different shows that's based off of all different types of categories, and we want you guys to be a part of it via Super Chat. So uh, you guys follow us on social media. We may do another show at 9 o'clock tonight after we work on the kinks because we're having difficulty with YouTube and the program that we're using and equipment. Um, again, this is just a test show. This is not the real show. It's just a test show, but it will go something like tonight, except I'll have more hosts on the show with me and special guests. We'll be giving away money and prizes also. Yeah, we're doing it that big. But before we can get to all that, we have to make sure that the system is fully running so we won't be getting cut off. You guys will not be missing certain videos that we want you to watch and et cetera. But for those that's watching, I do appreciate all your support. Again, I am your host, Sin CEO Official, and this is We So Fly Magazine Live. You guys have a great day. Be safe. And if I don't talk to you guys at 9 o'clock tonight, I will see you within the next day or two. Be safe. Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Sin. Have you ever wanted to do what I'm doing? Have your own show? Well, look, email me at ProduceMyShow at WeSellFlyMagazine.com. I totally understand. That's why I produce shows. Some people don't have the money, the equipment, or the know-how to make it happen. Well, let's work together. When you email me, be sure to leave a current contact, the name of all your social media platforms, and be sure to make sure that you leave me your show idea, how many co-hosts you plan on having on your show, the type of topics you'll talk about, and if it sounds good, I may respond. You could be the next person on the We Self Wide Network. Let's work. Let's get it. Let's make money. That part.